Dave Kim with you here. First of the 11th, 2022, and I've, I've put a list up of people that are using this um, measure that's been discovered by Roland Boucher using pendulum analysis of 39.6 inches and how it relates to the acre. And at Stonehenge, what we find is the unit is in the length of the lesser cursus and it's one three two of feet and if we square that and divide it by an acre we get 40 acres um, and this unit is three times one three two or three nine six so oh, it's a third of a mile in feet but here it's 39.6 inches We've got Roland Boucher who's discovered it and we find that we can use, as well as inches, we can use um, millimetres using the modern metre, which is a big surprise, but it actually works. Melissa Campbell uses it or an analyses it, as does Jim Wakefield on his paper All Rights to Stonehenge. Robin Heath in Sun, Moon and Earth does. Algernon Berryman in Historical Metrology has this unit times 40 million as the Earth's circumference, 25,000 miles. Alexander Tom in Megalithic Lunar Observatories. It's got the Aubrey Circle, 39.6 times 272, which is the strange number of 1071.2 imperial inches until it's turned into megalithic inches. Then it's 13200. Multiply that by 3 and you get 3960. And finally, but last but not least, John Michel, New View over Atlantis, page 123. He goes 7 factorial and 11 factorial for the um, description in this little book that I've got from Robin Heath, and I'll go through it. Sun, Moon and Earth by Robin Heath. I've got this because I wanted to learn out how to predict eclipses. And here Robin describes the design of the Giza pyramid against the moon and the earth. And the moon, the earth is size 11, the moon is size 3. 11 over 3 is 3.666. And that is the solar year that applies to the prediction of eclipses. And that's what the Giza base actually is. Uh, but on this diagram, the earth... Diameter is 7920 miles, making the radius 3960 miles, and there's the 39.6 again. So Robin Heath has it. And the way we're going to find this unit is by multiplying root 3 by 5280 in the Giza base, and it gives this base. <clears throat> length in inches. We square that, we get this number of square inches. Divide by 144, we get 580800 square feet. And that is 13.333 acres. So this unit of 5 to 8 times actual root 3 is giving 13.333 acres. And there's no doubt about that. Now, this unit is root 3 times 12. So if we divide this unit by 12, we get root 3. And it can also be used at Mankauri, where there are 200 of these cubits in the base. And Jim Wakefield knows about this. And if we uh, take 200 times 12, and multiply that by root 3. We get the uh, Menkari base side, square it. And we get this fantastic result. I think John Neal would be very happy about that. But um, 1.728 is 12 over 10 times 12 over... 10 times 12 over 10 
and you can just look at it there but if I put a plus in front of it it'll actually perform the calculation there it is fantastic metrology and it's all here now how do we find the meter again Jim, Jim, uh, Jim Wakefield has, has told us how to do this and it's all to do with finding the square root <clears throat> of a number that will give us the meter and to find that number we have to divide this base side produced by 5 to 8 or times root 3 we divide that by 39.6 because that's the meter we're looking for and it gives us this unit that is a function of a square it's the square root of a square and when we square it we get this number 53333.333 recurring so that is the square root of that and that times that gives us this and this divided by this is that so everything is related and everything is using the metrology that we're expecting and this is root 3 times 12 and when we square it we get 432 and they knew this there's no doubt about this and they knew when they were producing these measures that they were producing 29.53 days in the analysis and they were using a square one tenth of a meter square according to Dennis Payne a metrologist who is posting on the Academia website so many different types of analyses of the Giza base using this number and using acres and that's where all this has come from I started to play around with the idea that they knew what the result of using the square root of three would be and, and work backwards from that to get the unit that's based on root three and it's 12 times root three and that can very easily be produced by using an equilateral triangle so there's no problem there but let's have a look at why this um, lunation period is actually in the design <clears throat> and it's the way they've transformed it from this very ungainly unit which is the Saros divided by 223 periods divide that by that you get that but when you divide the Saros by that you get 29.333 exactly and that's what they were using that's an eclipse month and an eclipse unit is half that and when the Giza base is 91452283 the cubit that we get out of it is this and this cubit if we multiply it by 4.8 gives the proximity to 100 of that cubit so if we divide the proximity by 100 that's the length of the inch that's being used in this cubit so if we divide this number of imperial inches by the actual length of the inch that's being used in the cubit we can find out the true length of this cubit in inches 20.833 and that is the base 100 cubit that's the geezer side when we use that cubit now we can find this in Jim Wakefield's analysis from roll rights from the roll rights to Stonehenge and it's here 2.08333 he's analyzing the royal cubit his royal cubit is here 20.625 and we're using different units here in his analysis but there's no doubt that this unit is appearing and I'm using 20.833 as the standard base 100 cubit at Giza and it applies in Jim's work but we need to go up the pages to have a look at what Jim's saying he's saying that there's a digit of 0.825 inches <clears throat> and 16 digits uh, form this table for the Saxon foot 
we're going up to the Saxon Yard, 39.6 imperial inches, which is what we're expecting. Jim here is not giving us <clears throat> the length of the megalithic yard. And the length of the megalithic yard is 40 digits when the digit is 0 0.825. And that's 33 inches. We're putting 33 inches in this measure. That's the base 100 megalithic yard. And if we put 0 0.816 in there, as used at Giza, we, and multiply by 40, we get the actual megalithic yard. And, and this megalithic yard produces 366.666 solar days in the year. Uh, and the megalithic yard Tom discovered produces 362.666 days. So there's a four day difference, one day for each side of the Giza pyramid. I mean, this is rock solid metrology. There can't be any argument in that. So we're left with um, we're left with a series of people who've all who are all using the same thing, um, and it's this lunar standard of Lagash, and now we know why the lunar standard of Lagash is thirty nine point six inches, as described by Roland. We know where the inch came from. Uh, so that's it for now. But but thank you for uh, listening. Cheers.